I got that on high there. What I want to do, I'll add just a little bit of salt, not too much salt. I'm, that's the whole thing. A lot of people, they cook with too much salt. You just need a little bit of salt just to kind of bring out the flavors. Right? A lot of people, you know, they over salt the, their food. And you'll find if you go ahead and cut back a little bit gradually each day, you'll just start to really discover what the real food tastes like, you know. And you'll stop turning your steak and to be jerky, right? Yeah. Sitting up serving beef jerky to your guests and stuff. It's all salt. And they're like, oh, this is real good. You know. They got to suck down a 64-ounce Gatorade afterwards. Okay. So, we got this going. We got our chicken, our fried chicken is in here going good. Just let it go. Just let it go. You gotta let it cook all the way through, all the way down to the bone. You don't want any blood by the bone. It's disgusting like that. So, got a little bit of salt. Put just a little bit of pepper in here. Not too much, just a little bit. You know, you can always add to, but you can't take away. So, we've got that going very nicely. Let's put that down for a minute. So, let's go ahead and check on our chicken here with my chopsticks. Oh yeah, look at that. Would you look at that? It's getting nice and crispy. That's very nice. Okay, that's nice. So what I'll do is I'll just turn that over. That's nice and golden brown on that side. Crispy. Just let it go. Turn that piece over there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really good. Nice fried chicken. Paprika fried chicken. Okay. So, and don't use a fork. See, that's a mistake some people make. You try and turn the chicken over with a fork, you poke the skin, what happens? All the juices come out. You don't want chicken without the juices, right? You need the juice. It's the juice. Uh, okay. Okay. So, we're going to let that go. Probably got about seven more minutes on that. Now, I'm cooking down my cabbage here. Now, cabbage, you want to cook it for about five or six minutes. Don't get too crazy with it. You don't want it to be too soft. With my vegetables, I figure I like to serve me, maybe even a little bit crunchier than, as opposed to having them soft, because at least you know you're still getting the nutritional value, and you know you need that, right? So you can get up and go to work. Unless you ain't got no job, you know, so you can get up and play PlayStation. So, I've heated that up to high. Just gonna saute that for a little bit. Now, now I'll add a little bit of my crispy pancetta that I cooked up earlier. Put a little bit of that in there. And you can always save a, a few little crunchy pieces at the end to put on top. Nice contrast. So. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and let that go. We've got our chicken coming along nicely. Good, turn that on. Turn that down a little bit. So, we're going to let that go. And when we get back, when we get back, it's almost time to eat. It is almost time to eat. All right, don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and finish it up. We got our fried chicken going nicely. Now, let's go ahead and get it out here. Wow, look at that. Got a nice, crunchy skin on that. Let's go ahead and take that out there. Oh, wow. That is some nice fried chicken. Wow, look at that. That looks great. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself another batch going. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and fix the plate because everything else is done. We've got our nice baked macaroni and cheese in the oven. Let's go ahead. We'll just, we will not worry about that. That'll be round two. Anyways, it's time to eat. So let's go ahead and get our plate here. 
Now, we've got our baked macaroni and cheese that we put in there with the fresh spinach, the breadcrumbs, the nice sharp cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack. We topped it with some Parmesan. Now let's go ahead and have a little bit of that. Oh, that looks great. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? That looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait to eat. Aren't you getting hungry? So, the next thing we're going to go ahead and put on our plate is we've got our cabbage and corn. Now, what I did was I added like about a teaspoon of sugar to that. And I put about, probably added about a teaspoon of salt in that. Nice pancetta is already nice and salty already, so it adds a little bit to it. So, let's go ahead and put a little bit of that on our plate here. Doesn't that look good? You sure? Don't be skimpy with your date now. You know she's hungry. She went and did a little aerobics class earlier and now she's ready to go ahead and get her grub on. And he just made her the paprika fried chicken. Now let's go ahead and put a little bit of our chicken on there. Let's give her a wing and a leg. Why not? It doesn't matter. You can put it on there like that. Just like that. Wow. Look at that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm about ready to eat. So, now you got your, your paprika fried chicken and you've got your baked macaroni and cheese with your fresh spinach you topped with the parmesan you got your cabbage and your corn with the crispy pancetta you need a garnish right let's get some garnish frank's red hot hot sauce that's the only garnish i need for some fried chicken i can tell you that right now we don't gotta get all fancy this time put a little bit of hot sauce on there and get busy with it, right? Let's go ahead and try it out. See how it came out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now that's good. I gotta hurry up so I can get back to this fried chicken. You did it again. Love, art, life, fried chicken with the hot sauce, the Thuggins Chef. I want to be a hip hop star. If you sell another phone so they can get that car. I'm going to blaze this from middle because the hit comes first. Why you kick it back, relax, and I'm going to spit that verse. It goes like, want to be a hip hop star. If you sell another phone so they can get that car. I'm going to blaze this from middle because